This video is going to show you how to get started playing the bassoon if you currently or if you've previously played the saxophone. And even if you haven't played the saxophone, stick around because a lot of the information I'm going to show you is going to be helpful to anybody getting started on the bassoon. My name is Natalie Law and I am a bassoonist and a music educator and one of my favorite things to do is to teach people how to play the bassoon. If you're like most people, you're probably switching to the bassoon from another instrument and it can be really intimidating and nerve wracking starting this instrument. If you're just starting on the bassoon, comment down below and let me know what sort of things are you struggling with and what could you use help with. Today I'm going to show you how to get started playing the bassoon if you're switching from the saxophone. And I'm just going to be showing you the top things that I feel are the most important to know getting started. And of course, it's not a comprehensive video. There's a lot more information that's important to know. And that's why I suggest that you subscribe to the channel so you can find out more information when I upload it. And I also suggest that you check out my site, buildingabassoonist.com, where there are more resources for you if you are learning to play the bassoon. When you're first getting started playing the bassoon, one of the most important things you need to know is how to make a bassoon embouchure. And if you don't know what an embouchure is, it's just a fancy word to describe how we place our mouth around the reed. As a saxophone player, you are going to notice some similarities and some differences when you switch to the bassoon embouchure. Some of the similarities you'll notice is that your corners are going to have to stay in, and you'll notice that your bottom lip will still go over your bottom teeth to make a, a cushion for the reed. One of the biggest differences between the saxophone and the bassoon embouchure is that your teeth never touch the reed when you are playing the bassoon. As a saxophone, you're putting your teeth on the mouthpiece, and for the bassoon, we don't have a mouthpiece to do that with. So, there are three steps you can take to make a bassoon embouchure. Step number one is that you make a whistling face, and even if you don't know how to whistle, just pretend. Step number two while you are making that whistling face, take your finger and roll your bottom lip just slightly over your bottom teeth to create a cushion for the reed. Step number three is to make sure that your top lip is just slightly in front of your bottom lip if you were to look at it from the side. Some important notes to remember while you are playing the bassoon is that you wanna make sure your corners are always in. You want to make sure that you have a very tall and open oral cavity. Another important area of playing the bassoon when you're just getting started is learning how to tongue on the bassoon or learning how to articulate. So just as with the embouchure for saxophone, there might be some similarities that you notice when you are tonguing on the bassoon as you did with the saxophone. With the bassoon articulation, just behind the tip of your tongue, on the top of your tongue, is going to make contact with the tip of the bottom blade. So it will probably look something like this. If this is my tongue and this is the reed, this is about how my tongue is going to be making contact with the reed. When you have your embouchure set up and you've got your tongue figured out, try a couple exercises with just the reed just to make sure that you're tonguing correctly. You want to kind of think of a to or a do syllable. So let's, for right now, let's think about a do syllable and see if you can do this exercise with just the reed. So repeat after me. Your airstream is going to be a constant thing that's continuously going and your tongue is just gently interrupting that airstream to make articulations. So your sound should not be that I'm stopping my air for that sound. What I want you to be able to do is continuous air just lightly touching the tip of the reed with your tongue with always blowing air. Beep. 
One thing you're probably wondering if you're switching to the bassoon is how do I actually hold it up while I'm playing? As a sax player, you're probably used to playing with some sort of neck strap. Well, with the bassoon, we can play standing up with a neck strap or a harness or something like that, but most of the time when we're sitting down, we play with a seat strap and that holds the majority of the weight when we're sitting down. You wanna make sure that your seat strap is placed right up to the edge of the chair. And when you sit down with your seat strap on the chair, you'll hook the seat strap into the bassoon and you should be able to sit like this and you will notice that the seat strap can hold most of the weight of the bassoon. Before we try to, to hold the bassoon, we wanna make sure that our posture is really good. We're not leaning back, we're not leaning forward. We are in a comfortable upright position and you're gonna to wanna to learn how to balance the bassoon. So you're gonna bring it across your body and you might have to, with the seat strap, adjust the height upwards or downwards, whatever you need to do to make sure that the reed is coming in at a straight line to your mouth. And once you have the bassoon in this position, which it may feel similar if you have played maybe tenor sax or berry sax or, or a, a larger instrument that goes across your body like this, it may not feel all that different. So where you place your hands is a, your left hand will still be on top and your right hand will be on bottom. Your left hand is going to cover these three tone holes. One, two, three. Now you may have a, a, a key on this third tone hole instead of just an open hole, and that's fine. You still put your finger in the same spot. On the right hand, you put your fingers on this, hole, this tone hole, this tone hole, and this key. So this is a view of the backside of the bassoon that you will see. And your right thumb is going to be placed where mine is over what is called the B flat key and your left thumb is going to be placed right here over what is called the whisper key and this is kind of your home base this is where your thumbs are going to hang out not necessarily pressing the keys down but this is where you're going to start from and then as you learn more fingerings your thumbs are going to move around slide around on these keys and then you'll be able to play other fingerings that gets you set up and ready to play the bassoon. I hope that this video was helpful for you and if it was I ask that you please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to keep uploading weekly videos that will help you learn how to play the bassoon. And if you have any questions about anything that I talked about today or any topics that you want covered further on the channel, then please comment down below and let me know and I'm going to do my best to help you out.